So today's review comes courtesy of Icy Hair. They are an AliExpress seller. I have all of the information to this hair linked down below. So today's review also doubles as a tutorial on how I got this pretty magenta. It's actually magenta. It's coming off as like a nice burgundy color, but I actually dyed it with a magenta color. So I'm going to teach you how I did that with the full demo. What I have in my hair is actually their Brazilian Body Wave dyed and straightened. Um, you guys know I usually go with like 20 inches and shorter when I pick out my bundles. But I was in the mood for something a little bit longer, so I went 26. So I requested a 20, 22, 24, 26, and then an 18 inch frontal. But of course, as always, I never use all my bundles. Um, for some reason, I was gonna make this one a little bit fuller, and for some reason, it just, I didn't have enough space. So I have in a the 26, the 24, and then the 18 inch frontal. And as you can see, this is like the 18 where it stops and then you can kind of see where that 24 is and then of course the 26 my only regret is that i should have got 226 so that at the bottom it would be a little bit more fuller instead of going with trying to do the gradient effect especially because i usually only use two to three bundles and the closure so i show it in the video but i basically used the l'oreal techniques i think it's called the high colors and they're basically like highlighter um boxes of highlighter dyes i used that i think i used like six boxes so i did use a lot and i mixed them with the 40 value 40 volume developer so i'm gonna cut into the tutorial of how i achieved that look and then i'll be right back so here's the wig already made Stay tuned for the end of the video and I will share my final thoughts on the wig. And you also see the final results of this hair dye. But I've already constructed it. I did sew it to a cap because um, I'm going to be putting dye in it and washing it. And if you're going to be doing that, you don't want to do hot glue gun. So stay tuned for my tutorial on how I sew my wigs down. I also added an elastic band so it's pretty much ready to go. I just want to dye it and give it some color. So this is the color that we're going to be using. This is the L'Oreal Technique Excellence High Color Highlights and the color is magenta. If you guys have seen this color on me before, many of you have asked what color it was. So I grabbed six boxes. The last time I used four, um, I would say get between four and five. I just wanted to make sure I had more than enough so I don't have to um, stretch it. And of course you have your gloves. So let's get started. So quick tip. Usually, when you purchase these colors, it comes with a pointed end on the other side of the cap, and you're supposed to um, puncture the top of the product in order to get it to come out. But when you squeeze, it takes forever for it to come out. So what I do is I just take some scissors, I literally cut open the other end. And this is going to help me get the product out much faster. So for now I'm going to use only four. I'm probably going to use all six, but I don't want to make all of it now just in case I don't need it. So I'm going to take my 40 volume developer. I'm just going to mix it in. So you want it, some people say to make it soupy, some people say to make it like a, the texture of pancakes. Um, I just do what I feel somewhere in between there. You definitely want it to be loose and not thick. When you bleach your knots with bleach and developer, that's when you want it thick. But if you're doing actual application of hair dye, you want it to be much thinner than that for reference. when I was doing the first part but all I did was I split the hair in half and I put a half up top and then what was left in the back I went ahead and completely saturated it with the product 
Now I'm going to flip the whole wig over. And as you can see, if you flip it over, there's no product back there, especially towards the top. Which is why you must make sure that you get it everywhere. I would highly recommend that you um, apply your hair or your dye to your bundles before you construct a wig. It just was easier for me to do it this way this time. Okay, so after all of that, this is the color that I achieved. I really like it because it is bright, it's pretty, it's in the dark, like in the house right now. It's a little bit more subtle, but in daylight, like when I'm out, it's so bright. Make sure you guys are following me on my Instagram account so you can see more pictures of how it looks in natural daylighting because it is much more bright. But I do like the fact that it does kind of tone down in dimmer lights and not look so bright. I did leave the color on for about 35 to 40 minutes. I wanted to leave it on for a full hour, um, but I had somewhere to go, so I had to hurry up and rinse it out. I did not have to deep condition or anything. I just rinsed it out with the, um, or I shampooed it with the ISO Plus shampoo, and then I just used a normal regular conditioner for like two minutes and then rinsed it out and let it air dry. And this is the results that I got. I decided to straighten it out because once I let it air dry, the way I let it air dry it kind of um, lost some of the bounce. So instead of trying to re-wet it in style, I decided I just wanted to go ahead and blow dry and straighten. And I really like the way it came out. So as I said before, the hair is true to length. 26 on me usually comes like right below my butt. Yeah, and it's there. So, like I said before, I just wish I would have done two 26s instead of a 26 and a 24. That way, the bottom will be full. Anytime with any brand that you go with, if you go longer than 20 inches, always go with two of your longest lengths. So that when your hair is extremely long, it can be also full at the end and not so um, thin, I guess you would say. Because that always happens to me. But other than that, I really do like the hair so far not too much tangling or shedding um not really tangling shedding at all because i've been working with a lot of hair today and yesterday and i wouldn't notice if this was shedding because it's the only one that's red i haven't really seen a lot of red around the house but it, since it is a four by four closure i did bleach the knots um but because i had dyed the hair red they had that red all through the scalp so I did go ahead and add some powder and then I created a little bit of baby hair to kind of help it look a little bit more natural. So shipping was fast as always. Again, the name of the company is IC and this is the packaging. It came messed up like this, I guess, um, from shipping. But inside were my bundles. As I said, I received four in a closure but I only used two. So as I said before, I requested four bundles, but I only used two. So these are the two that I have left. So this is my 20 and this is my 22. I'm not gonna unravel it out of the um, bundle, but I'll show you kind of what the hair looks like in its natural state. So the packaging is really nice. Of course, it's in the net to protect the um, curl pattern. Oh, it's already coming down. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It has nice bounce to it. The natural color is nice, dark, and healthy. The wefts were nice and easy to work with. The wefts were nice and easy to work with as well. And then the packaging, of course. Um, it says I see around the band with some hearts. And then it also has the tag on it. So. This is what it looked like. So I basically took it from this to this. 
without having to even bleach it first, which is cool with me. So if I did forget to mention it was shipped via FedEx, it took about three days for it to come, which is pretty fast and normal. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no complaints about this hair. Again, it is linked down below if you're interested in checking it out. This is body waved and straightened. So as you can see, the hair does dye really nicely and it does straighten effortlessly. I didn't even have to do too much or put any product to achieve this look. I didn't deep condition it. I didn't add any product. It just naturally has a nice, healthy sheen to it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.